Hum and renew our baseline, baby, like bread and butter, soda and popcorn, or even World of Warcraft and crippling depression. Some things just go together. And that's why we're putting Disc and Holy together in this pre-expansion update. So stay tuned as we predict the future of both specs in Dragonflight PvP. But before we start, we're going to be pumping out content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and of course Shadowlands in the upcoming months, so be sure to subscribe to stay ahead of the meta. And check out skillcap.com to see how you can gain over 400 rating with our money back guarantee. Anyway, back to the video. Let's start out in the same place we normally do by looking at the general tree. First up, something you should have immediately noticed is that Palm, Renew, and Shadow Mend will all be baseline. As a Disc Priest, this means having Prayer of Mending and Renew back in your toolkit. Honestly, this will feel pretty nice as a healer because any instant cast spells always feel good to press while needing to reposition or to min-max globals when juking interrupts. Holy Priests having Shadow Mend is also a big deal since they have virtually no healing options while locked on the Holy School. If we have learned anything from Shadowlands, it's that having multiple spell schools is insanely OP for dealing with the infinite amount of interrupts that every team seems to have. Another thing you can be happy about is that Mind Games will be making a return in Dragonflight. This spell was arguably one of the most meta-defining abilities in Shadowlands as it gave priest comps an entirely new win condition against classes with bursty self-healing. Its return means that we would likely expect the same popular comps like RMP and Jungle Cleave to continue doing well into Dragonflight, as their damage profiles and control give insane value to a spell as powerful as Mind Games. Another massive change is a redesigned mind control, which now is a 2 minute cooldown and causes affected players to follow you like a pet. If we had to guess, this might be the result of a workaround to the abundance of bugs that have affected the spell for numerous expansions, rather than a strict redesign based around class balance. In any case, if you're a priest player, you might be disappointed overall with this change. But on the bright side, Twins of the Sun Priestess is returning as a baseline talent. This is a change you can certainly be happy about, since Power Infusion felt more like a throwaway cooldown for your partners rather than a personal CD. Now your goes will be even stronger thanks to the duplicating effect of this talent. There is also an entire section of the talent tree dedicated to Shadow Fiend, with talents that either increase its damage or offer better mana return on attacks. This may seem like a minor detail, but it helps reinforce both priest specs as the aggressive or momentum based healers, with Shadow Fiend possibly becoming an integral part of kill setups. Finally, you might have also noticed a spell called Holy Word Life at the end of the talent tree. It is an instant cast heal that deals damage to the priest on use, but during our initial testing, it didn't seem like it was possible for this spell to break CC, despite sharing a cooldown with Shadow Word Death. And with the biggest general changes out of the way, let's dive deeper into Discipline to see what to expect in Dragonflight. Disc has a lot to look forward to for talent selection. As we mentioned before, the return of Palm and Renew will help fluff out its healing rotation, which should make the spec feel more fluid. The tree for Disc is split in half to reflect its spec identity. On the left side are more healing focused talents, most notably Radiance and a few key modifiers increasing healing output. The right side of the tree is dedicated almost entirely to damage, specifically talents that give bonuses to select shadow spells. If we had to guess, most Disc Priests would gravitate more to the defensive and healing based talents elsewhere on the tree, especially in 3v3 where additional throughput is needed. With that said, the Legion artifact ability called Light's Wrath has made its return into the talent tree. In Legion, this spell did considerable amounts of damage, and along with mind games, it could easily become part of coordinated kill setups in Arena. Since it is technically a holy and fire spell, it also means it could be used to play around lockouts when multiple kicks are available. Moving along, Purge of the Wicked is also making a return, and will now have an additional modifier through a passive called Revel in Purity. Purge of the Wicked spreading is a massive part of Disc Priest throughput, and became integral to their rise in popularity in RBGs. With this talent, Disc will more than likely remain the best healer in the 10v10 format. And even though it might not seem like that big of a deal, it will now be possible to play both Lenience and Spirit Shell at the same time since they are no longer exclusive to one another. Spirit Shell rarely saw play in Arena, but might actually be a viable defensive option, specifically into setup based comps for preemptively blocking attacks. With everything covered for Disc, let's move on to Holy and its biggest challenges. What's interesting is that the Holy Tree shares a big similarity to Disc. The right side is focused a lot on damage, with talents that buff abilities like Holy Fire and Smite. The left side is more healing focused, with key talents that give more HPS or better mana efficiency. One of those talents is Light Well, which you might be familiar with from previous expansions. In the past, this ability was spec defining, but it might be a bit outdated for modern play. We say this because of how sweaty players are these days in Arena, and if the Light Well can be targeted and killed, you already know 
though some hyperspeed demon hunters will be instantly rushing to kill it. But outside of this, there is a combination of low-key OP talents on the tree that you might have overlooked. These include Cosmic Ripple and Piety of Mana, which both increase healing output while giving a form of mana return. When you combine these with Shadow Fiend talents on the general tree, there is almost no chance Holy Priests will have mana issues whatsoever in Dragonflight. We should also note that Twist of Fate will now be available to Holy since it is on the general tree. This might work really well in its toolkit since Serenity gets most of its value when used on targets at low HP as a response to heavy burst damage and will give an additional modifier to other heals. Outside of this new technology though, we expect Holy Priest healing rotation to remain relatively intact. With the return of Apotheosis and Resonant Words, Holy will be holding on to its bread and butter rotation that is based around staggering Serenity with casted heals in order to maximize healing output while utilizing forms of cooldown reduction. And for those of you wanting to deal more damage as Holy, there is a new end cap talent called Imperial Blaze, which will allow Holy Fire to be instant and have no cooldown, which means easier cooldown reduction on Chastise. With a the 30 second CD, you already know this spell will line up perfectly with Kidney Shot, and with Chastise making its return, well, looks like another expansion of RMP. Alright, with both specs covered, let's do a mini recap on what to expect from healing priests in Dragonflight. Overall, both Disc and Holy seem to be following the same trend in their talent tree design. With both healing and damage modifiers to choose from, there might be distinct builds for both 2v2 and 3v3 that allow for more custom expressions of playstyle. Overall though, simple things like Palm, Renew, and Shadow Mend all being baseline means that both healing specs should feel way more fluid by adding new ways to deal with lockouts and the need to reposition. But we want to know what you think. What are your thoughts on Priests in Dragonflight? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, please consider subscribing. We will be uploading tons of new content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and Shadowlands in the next few months. And be sure to check out skillcap.com where you can learn how to gain over 400 rating risk-free. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.